Mr. President, maybe to the Senate. Just wanted to take a few minutes to just talk a little bit about some of the arguments I heard you tonight against the bill. Uh, first of all, the Norman study, I heard that as well. And I want you to know that over the long term, over the seven years that it for in Medicaid expansion, we actually saved two hundred and twenty six million dollars for new eligibles. The number that was referred to is for those that they call the woodwork effect. There are people who are currently eligible and don't even realize it. And whether or not we expand Medicaid or not, that cost will be there. Nothing to do with Medicaid expansion. It is a savings that expanding Medicaid to the state of Iowa. Don't you bet we're concerned about the debt? It's the responsible thing to do. Like the state, the federal government needs to set forth some priorities and invest in its people if we are going to get this economy moving forward again. We've mentioned about the lack of funding the federal government has provided over the years to special ed. Near and dear to this woman tonight, Denmark, Denmark. Instead of no government commitment, special ed is not an entitlement. Medicaid is. And over the years that Medicaid has been in existence, the federal government has not broken its promise. And then, of course, I could also suggest that the governor's plan, when, when I receive the details, Thank you. 